What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ride With Purpose. I sure do appreciate each and every one of you being here. Um, as you can see, we're in a little bit of a different environment today. Um, we're not in my dirty, nasty garage. We're actually at the dining room table of my apartment up here near uh, Petoskey, Michigan. So uh, many of you know that follow the channel uh, realize that I am a uh, project superintendent for a very large construction company. And I do a lot of the healthcare stuff for our company. And um, I've been fortunate uh, since I started working for these people. Um, I've been home every single night. Actually, most of my jobs uh, have been about 10 to 15 minutes away from my house, which is super awesome. But um, there is a, uh, a pretty awesome project going on here in Petoskey that I wanted to be a part of. It's bringing a lot of good to the community. And uh, it's also for one kick-ass client, which I, I really do enjoy working with. So um, we're going to be doing something that hasn't really quite been done before. So that's it. But uh, So this is going to be the new format throughout winter. Um, obviously, I'm roughly two hours away from home, and I'm not going to be able to make it home every night and work on my bike and do all that kind of stuff. And when I am home, I want to be 100% focused on my wife and my dogs and with my little ones home from college, you know, make, making sure... My focus is right there, not uh, not doing this kind of stuff. So, um, in the meanwhile, this is what we're doing. It's not really a podcast. It's not really a talk show. It's something in between, right? So, we're just going to play it by ear and see how it goes. Um, hit me down in the comments below, man. Let me guys know what you think about this. It's not going to be this set up every week. Um, my apartment actually has a pretty, uh, it's a pretty full-size basement down there, really big. And I'm going to be moving the studio downstairs once I get everything kind of set up. This is uh, pretty janky for right now. But, uh, you know, if we did get a flag, that's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, let's get down to some business. Today, we're going to be talking about the mental health benefits of riding your motorcycle. Let's go! All right, man. As you guys know, riding a motorcycle has several benefits to our mental health and well-being. Um, very similar to physical activity, but with unique elements to the sensory experience and the freedom that it brings. So I put together my top five uh, benefits for riding a motorcycle. Let's take a look. Number one, reduces stress and anxiety. Mindfulness and focus. Riding requires attention to the road, your surroundings, and bike, keeping you in the present moment and reducing ruminative thoughts. It's the release of endorphins. Physical engagement with the bike combined with the thrill of riding triggers an endorphin release and reducing stress. Number two, improves mood and emotional health. Sense of freedom. The open road, fresh air, and adventure offer a feeling of liberation which can uplift your mood. Community connection. Motorcycling often brings riders together in clubs or groups, creating a sense of belonging and reducing loneliness. Now this one I can speak on a thousand percent. If it wasn't for motorcycling and uh, you know the the biker culture itself here that we that we have in Northern Michigan, um, you know I, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now with uh, with a lot of things. Not only just uh, with what we're doing here right now with Ride with Purpose um, or what we're doing with Northern Michigan Bikers, the Facebook uh, group, but um, just mentally. You know I was uh, struggling before I started diving balls deep into this uh, motorcycle culture thing that we're doing here. And um, I, mean, I met a lot of great people just because of motorcycles. Um, you know, it started out with creating North Michigan Bikers Facebook group, um, which connected me to uh, Big E from Mid-Michigan Biker Podcast, and um, which connected me to the club I'm in right now. And um, there's not only that, but there's also, you know, being a part of a Beta Michigan, Region 3, but a lot of great people through that. And actually, I'm um, the only reason I know Brother Mook was because of a bait and uh, what we did together there. So, um, you know, Brother Mook and I have been, uh, been joined at the hip since uh, last August. And uh, he actually came to a, a, a ride uh, for another club um, in August. Uh, it was a poker run. And he just walked up to a bait members because he's familiar with a bait and said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm new in town and I want to new in town. He, uh, he moved away for quite a while and, and came back. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at getting back, uh, into, uh, into a bait. So I'm like, come on, ride with us. And, uh, it's been, it's been great ever since, man. And, uh, everyone, I'm going to say this, everyone needs to get themselves a mook, man. He's, he's a good brother, a good friend. So, um, I wouldn't have had that if it wasn't for, for, for motorcycles, right? 
Number three, mental clarity and focus. Sensory stimulation. The combination of wind, motion, and varied terrain provides mental stimulation, which can help clear the mind and enhance focus. The adrenaline rush. Occasional spikes of adrenaline, particularly on spirited rides, can boost energy and increase feelings of well-being. Let's take a minute to talk about number three real quick. So I know for me, again, I can only speak for me, um, when I get back from a ride, especially like say we, we go to church and it's an hour and a half away from where I'm at, and I get back and it's usually after 10 o'clock and I'm on my bike, um, I can't go to sleep, you know, I got that. I got that rush. Even if it's just a, it's normally on the way back, it's dark and we live in northern Michigan and there's deer everywhere. And we're not usually riding balls to the wall. Um, we're taking it nice and easy, but um, I just can't get off my bike and go right to bed after <laughs> after a ride like that. So, um, and it's it's awesome to have that that feeling of, of you know, getting up there um, with, your, with your adrenaline, taking those curves, Maybe uh, going a little bit faster than what the uh, the speed sign says, but uh, you know it's it's all good. It's it's a good way to again just clear your mind and focus on one thing. Uh, if I'm sure there's many people like me, you have ten thousand things going in your head at once, and uh, being able just to focus, you know, tunnel vision on that road ahead of you, um, it takes everything else away. So that that's a that's a pretty damn good one to have. All right, onward. Number four, build resilience and confidence. Skill mastery. Learning to control a motorcycle, maintain it, and ride safely fosters a sense of accomplishment and self-confidence. Problem solving. Navigating new routes or managing unexpected situations strengthens resilience. I'm not a mechanic. I've I've never been interested in, in wrenching on anything. It's just nothing that's been that's ever been fun for me. I I just don't enjoy doing it. Um, but I do enjoy working on my bike, you know. And so again, it's a whole other level of of just letting things go. You know, you're out there. You're that's why I like detailing so much. That's my way of uh, being able to just to kind of focus and. And, and work through things. I, I tend to, when I'm out there detailing my bike or washing my bike or, or putting some stuff on it, I don't think about anything else. Um, or sometimes I do. I just think about a problem that I have right now. And I think of different avenues I can go down to get to the goal, right? And, um, you know, keeping my hands busy, keeping my mind moving with doing something like that, it, it definitely has helped me out a lot because, uh, I have a pretty short temper and, <laughs> you know, usually problems are, are usually solved with me blowing up and, and forcing my way through a problem rather than gliding through a problem and getting from point A to B to C. I would just uh, Kool-Aid man it and bust through the wall and get right to where I had to be. So, uh, oh, yeah. Hey, Kool oh, yeah. Here comes Kool-Aid. Here comes Kool-Aid. Um, that's definitely helped me, uh, build some resilience, and uh, build some confidence in myself. All right, number five, creates a meditative state. Writers often describe the experience as therapeutic, entering a flow state where worries fade similar to meditation. This can help with mental clarity and emotional regulation. Again, man, as many of you guys know, you get on that bike and you just get on and you forget about whatever is going on in your life at that particular moment. Um, again, it's it's they call it wind therapy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, some people go to therapy and they spend thousands of dollars on, on, on talking to somebody. And that's great, man. If that helps you, do it. I, I encourage it. Um, for me, I get on my bike and that's, that's where I can uh, work through my issues and then go home and you know, talk to somebody close to me about it. Usually it's my wife um, or, or or my best buddy. But, uh, you know, it, it's a great way to just to kind of, again, you enter that flow state. You can you can see problems from a 10,000 foot view instead of being right here. You know, when you, when you have problems, when you're looking at it like this, all you see is that problem. And uh, me, me being on a motorcycle, again, I, I call it my eagle eye vision. It puts me up here 
where I can see everything. I can see my road where I need to go down and, and how I can, I can take care of things. So, um, mental health, man, it's a big deal. Um, last month, September was uh, mental health awareness month. Um, we should have that. It shouldn't just be a month, you know, in my opinion, same thing with our veterans stuff. You know, we shouldn't just have a month dedicated to our veterans. It should be every damn day. And, uh, for us men and women alike, this is another way of, of dealing with it. Not all of us are made to go see a therapist. Um, not all of us are, are comfortable talking to somebody about that kind of stuff. Um, I do encourage you all, if you have some issues and you, and you have some problems, find someone to talk to. But this also helps out quite a bit too. And it's, it's how you utilize the tool, right? So the tool is only as good as the person uh, working it. And for me, my motorcycle, is, it's a big tool. Not only does it get me from A to B, but it helps me clear my head. And uh, I believe it helps me be a better person. It's helped me be a better father. It's helped me be a better husband. It's helped me be a better friend. And uh, because of the motorcycle community, I'm able to combine all the things I love and uh, and use my passion of, of, of riding bikes and doing things to help give back. And that's what Ride With Purpose is all about. So... Um, Overall, riding a motorcycle, not, you know, it not only promises relaxation and happiness, but it, it, it's, it's a good tool to utilize to, uh, to get your head straight. So, um, again, I do appreciate you guys being here. Um, this is a little bit of a different video, but this is what we're going to be doing moving forward. Um, not just this type of topic, but other things as well. So if you guys have ideas for topics to talk about and do this type of interaction with, man, put it down in the comments below or email me um, at knowmebikers at gmail.com that is n-o-m-i bikers at gmail.com and uh as always man ride with purpose we'll see you next time peace